Hey, hello YouTube players. This video is a quick guide for pipe analysis on the FreeCAD FEM workbench. With any analysis software, it's good practice to calibrate and then control the design. I'm using steel beam to do the calibration analysis, so if nothing else, you won't have to. The example consists of 2 meter circular hollow section loaded with 1.4 kilonewtons thereabouts fixed at either end to give a beam and bending. Looking at this problem, you might think that the section is overkill from the get-go. However, crushing forces on this section is a large factor, and if you're designing against fatigue, the total stress is to cap to under 10 megapascals, to the best of my knowledge, and all info in this video is for educational purposes only. The easiest way to get the section into the FEM workbench is to draw a line and create a beam section. I haven't got that figured out yet. I'm guessing the edge has to be a wire, but thereafter I'm getting lost. So hopefully someone on the forum can fill in the blanks. This way is more useful anyways. Although we're starting with simple geometry, this method can be used to bring in complex, complex shapes. First we need to create the geometry, and that doesn't matter if we use part or part design or any other method to design the solid. It's important to remember that you will need a face to apply the load. This is why I have two pipes. Union to form one solid. Then we head over to the arch workbench to face bind the surfaces required. And now we're ready for the FEM workbench. We create an analysis, we add the material, remember to assign the faces in the material. You may have more than one type of material, and that will require assigning more materials to those faces. Select the faces from the 3D view to avoid errors in the report view. Adding fixed constraints to the face bonded edges works. If there's no red constraints in the 3D view, something's wrong. Adding the force is easily achieved if you've prepped your model prior. Adding a body or a sketch will enable the force to be snapped to an axis or an edge for direction manipulation. I've chosen to mesh with the default G mesh for no other reason then I like the letter G. It works, don't judge. Remember that this is a mesh of a surface and we'll need to tell the analysis the thickness of the section. This is done by adding a shell plate thickness. However, the 3D view does not update. There's no errors in the report view on analysis so I can only assume this is correct. Also, I'm asking the foreign to comment on this. If Calculix is run with no errors, close it and open your results file to begin understanding the stresses and deflections. You will note previously on steel beam that the center of the beam stress was 34.75 megapascals. Our results are 28.83 for von Mises, maximum principal stress is 29.8 megapascals and maximum shear stress is 15 megapascals. All are still a bit different from steel beams 34.75 megapascals. Working problems out with equation and mesh are apples and oranges. However, meshes will do problems no calculator can. We need to understand what we're looking at. 
maximum principal stress is the bending stress and the shear stress well is the shear stress and we can't just add the two together we need to use this method and if you understand Pythagoras this will be a walk in the park the total fiber stress is the square root the squared sum which gives us 33.4 megapascals which is still a 3% discrepancy but it's close and neither way is wrong but that's why engineers get paid the big bucks interpreting the country's code and applying rele relevant safety factors and that's outside the scope of this video. I know there's some questions pending and I'll leave the comments open and hopefully you'll be able to colour in inside the lines when it's time to run your job. Alright, thanks. I hope you've uh, got something from it or will get something from it and um, thanks for the feedback on the forum and elsewhere and uh, Talk to you soon.